I'm Steve and this is my beautiful 1969 TVR Vixen S2. And now you have the chance to be the winning bidder on bring a trailer for this very car. Let's take a quick look around this car. You can see it's wearing the correct TVR wheels. I think these wheels were way ahead of their time. Looking around the back, it has the TVR and the Vixen S2 badges. This car does have the early Ford taillights on it. Here on the roof, there is that typical crazing that you see on fiberglass cars doesn't turn up real well, it's not too bad. This is the Tuscan style bonnet on this car. There are a couple little blemishes here and there. Nothing that stands out very much. Inside the door, you can see there's a little bit of rubbing down here. Door seals are in great shape. Door panels look great. Here's a look at the interior. Spare tires held down by a strap in the back. You can see there's speakers back there. It has a full set of Smith's gauges as well as a modern radio. These are the correct switches for a TVR. Down here in the driver's footwell. Over here on the passenger side. You can see everything looks just as good as it does on the driver's side. There's a little spot in the carpet where the carpet is torn up a little. I don't know what happened there. To open up the bonnet, there's a latch on both sides that you must release. You can see it's very clean under the bonnet. This is a Ford Cortina GT engine and transmission that were shipped over from England. The car is equipped with headers and a Weber carburetor. I'll get this shut back up and let's take it for a drive. I have not started this car up today. I just pushed it out of the garage over here so you could have a better look at it. So this will be a cold startup. To start the car, just turn the ignition key on, let the pump run for a second, pull the choke out, start the car, and then push the choke back in. You can see the tack is working. The ammeter there. Oil pressure is coming up. Fuel gauge. Of course, our, we're not up to temperature yet. Show you that the radio does work.
This switch down here, this is for the electric fan. You can turn that on if it starts to get hot. It will only run uh, when it gets up to temp. 